Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's off meta video, we'll be covering what I like to call the Dragon Ball Z teleportation build, or just the Manticore and Astrocyte combo for short. Both exotics have been updated with new and approved effects, which got my brain thinking as to what weird and wonderful setup we can create. I actually believe this could be very powerful in PvP with certain player types who know just how to handle it, but if you want something more keen to PvE laid back gameplay, then the following may just be suitable for you. To start, you're going to want to have Chaos Accelerant where your grenades can be overcharged for a different effect. Then you want Feed the Void where the Feeder target with void abilities activates Devour. To put this build simply, we need to focus on survival when using Manticore's effect while in the air, so anything that enhances our firepower or increases fire ability is going to be recommended here. The fragments used are Echo of Vigilance where defeating a target while your shields are down grants a temporary void overshield. Echo of Instability, where getting grenade kills grant void weapon volatile rounds, Echo of Explosion, where void ability thunder blows cause targets to explode, and Echo of Persistence, where void buffs applied to you are increased. Key fragments to have here will be the Echo of Vigilance and Persistence, as they will increase our survival chances for longer while making use of the exotics. This should be enough to perfect the build while in the air, so from there your choices after is then down to you. As we are using Axion and Sky Grenades, I would recommend adding the Echo of Instability just for another easier route to trigger Volatile Rounds for free. For mods and stats, Discipline and Intellect at Tier 7 with Font Mods will be the key stat to focus on for today. Your Discipline at Tier 7 will be combined with Font of Focus to overall give us a Tier 10 stat for the given duration we'll have. With Axion and Scatter being used, we'll get roughly a minute to minute 16 grenade cooldown when armor charges are in play. This will be used for triggering the instability fragments often while also allowing us to create an overpower via the firepower mod. This will also link back to our intellect stat for faster super region via the ashes to assets mod, which will be required as we will be using Nova Warp as our selected super. Intellect follows the same rule as a discipline stat does, with it being at tier 7 and using the Font of Wisdom mod for an overall tier 10. This alone will push our super cooldown rate to 7 minutes 5 seconds which most likely will be faster than what we currently have once we then add on the Ashes to Assets mod as well. This stat here does not need additional mods outside of Ashes to Assets, although mods such as Harmonic Siphon and Reaper will always be a common item that many players will attach to most of their builds. We do also have the Strength stat at Tier 5 which will be used often and does have the Outreach mod for extended usage. However, this will play a part in the build in terms of just standard ability usage here and there. After that, you will then have the key armor charges mod and additional add-on mods to worry about. Charged up times 1 will expand how many charges we can carry by plus 1. After that, we then have the void weapon surge mod times 2, which will provide a 17% damage boost for the given void weapons on hand. This will be supported by the time dilation mod, which increases all of our armor charges duration by 15 seconds. Lastly, having harmonic reserves for increasing heavy and special weapon reserves for void weapons will be handy in the long run, although not always needed. Now weapons being used is the Manticore SMG which has been a hit and miss with a number of players. The weapons in Dr. Perk is interesting as it allows us an easy way to hover without the need of a specific jump ability to be used. Not only that, but staying in the air will grant users damage reduction, in-air accuracy increase and also damage boost. It has a near 100 recoil direction and has a very high stability stat that makes it perfect for in-air combat. Now, partly the reason I'm using this with my exotic armor is to make full use of the multiple blink charges I can pull off in close combat. With the ability to cause targets to become volatile from just jumping, I can pair this with my exotic trait to basically stay in the air for longer and make use of the damage buffs achieved. From there, if things get heavy, I can then use my jump effect again to disappear to another location while staying in the air and repeat as many times as I like. It is highly dumb and slightly dangerous, but it holds a lot of sway to its design. As for heavy, I've gone with the Braytech Osprey with Frenzy and Field Prep as the main perks. I would advise you to get a rocket launcher that has a large blast radius as it will make it much easier for you to wipe out a number of enemies in one area, but also while you're in the air. At the same time, having the auto loading perk will be beneficial when things do get hectic while in the air, as you can use your rocket launcher to fire and forget in most situations. The heavy does not need to be the same as mine, but any other recommendation I just mentioned will be helpful for the future build. 
I'm going to be very honest with you all. The following is more of a meme build that in the right hands can be fairly good in PvP. In PvE, its mechanics are simple to understand, and as long as you don't abuse the bling effect too much while jumping over death pits, you should be fine. With Atrocyte being able to cause targets to now be volatile when activated, it can easily cause chain reactions that are handy for when you really need to clear out a number of areas. A prime example of this is when you're in an enclosed area that requires the user to defeat a wave of enemies before advancing to the next area. If we take the battleground level of enemy density as an instance of this being in play, you can zip and glide your way across a room full of ads with little effort while bringing death and destruction to those below. Combining this with Mandicore that has been buffed as well, and you can create a weird blink stop motion run that is very hard to keep track of. Effectively, stay in the air does pose the risk of being an easier target even with the Mandicore damage reduction applied, but as this is void, we can make use of the Devourer as long as we net those kills quickly, which all of this is being taken into effect. Although this is more for PvP as the following exotic is used by those who have a profound knowledge of blink jump mechanics, its usage in PvE is available if you like to mix things up. I advise you to not use this in anything above Legend, as, well, you'll be turned into Swiss cheese. But anything below that, and you'll have a great time. But overall, what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below at the same time if you enjoyed the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.